Hey, hello, hi, this is Mali, and uh, I'm doing a video today because uh, I must have been about a month ago, I did a video and we was talking about how we got broken into, and we was thinking about, me and the missus, she's here actually, I, I won't show you her because she's shy, but we was talking about what we could do to secure the place better. So we were looking at getting a dog, people were saying you should get a dog, dog's a good idea. The problem with the dog is that, you know, they, they bark when you don't want them to bark. So when you're trying to sleep, you get a dog outside your window barking and they like to, you know, mess the place up and then they start digging up the flowers and they're doing all sorts of madness. And all you really want them to do is just shut up and stop people from coming in when they, when they try to get in and then bite them. Unfortunately, some people don't put like, you know, poisoning food and throw them over for the dog and so on. So I'm not too, too convinced by the dog idea. So then we're talking about the watchman, nighttime, he should be awake patrolling the place and making sure everything is crisp. Problem with that is that in the, I've heard too many stories of people who've had watchmen and then somehow the watchman miraculously falls asleep on the very same day that the people come and rob the house. Or he just happened to have gone out for a sandwich just at the precise time that the, the, the thieves have come in and you know broken the window or he's sitting there make, drinking a tire a tire is a is a this tea thing it, it doesn't matter you'll find out when you get here but they will do that as well so long watchman nah dog nah uh cameras was another idea uh, a lot of people said you should get cameras for your place um but the thing with cameras is that it's it's kind of like okay you can you'll see the you may you may see the face of the perpetrator but then to go and find him you know among the other two million people that are here in the country is going to be a problem they don't tend to usually be from the area apparently according to the police so you're going to have to literally be going around with this picture of this teeth looking for uh, a gambian who fits the, the description so that's long and you know to to beat the camera we need to do is put a face mask on and you know this time of year everyone's got face masks so that didn't really seem like as though it had legs, you know? So prevention is better than the cure. So I got talking to a uh, young man, very nice man. I won't give you his name because he said he doesn't want me to give you his name. He'd rather stay nameless. Um, but he's, a, he's, a, he's pretty smart. So he was able to show me how we could use electricity to secure the house. Right. If you look online, you can buy, you know, electric fence um, kits, and what they do, they give us a small zap for like, you know, if you're trying to keep cows in a pen or something. Um, but uh, yeah, they don't sell those here. They don't sell electric fence kits, so we've had to make our own. So I'm going to show you what we've done, so that you could do yours as well if you wish, and uh, you know. What we'll do at the end of the video is I will be testing. I tried getting someone locally. I said, look, I'll pay, you, I'll pay you some money to test out this fence for me, but nobody wants to do it. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try not do the Homer Simpson thing. Let's try the red one. Yes! Okay, I'll try the green. Yes! Oh! Let's try the red one again. No, no, not again! No! Let's try them together. No! Maybe the red one. No! That doesn't look like a good idea. I'm gonna try and just test the thing. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So if this is my last will and testament, I'd like to say I love you all. Um, and uh, yeah, sorry about that. All right. Let's do it. Okay, look, this is how it works. So, plug into the mains. This is like a, a battery and inverter setup. So, even when the lights are, electricity goes off, the light stays on. Then you have the step down. So, the step going, we've got the 220 of the 110. Now, I've been shocked by 220 before, and I survived to tell the tower. It wasn't that bad. I must have been about 11 years old, 10, 11 when it happened. And uh, changing the, the, the light and Long story short, I was crying for a while. But down here you can see, right? So you put the neutral into a bolt into a wall and also the live 
and that goes into a screw into the wall as well. And then if you run it through, you have after that, just come on the outside. You then have the wire just connect up to here. And what you'd have now is that this whole gate is now live. And this here, the uh, handle, is also live because this is metal. If you can see just here where the paint has come off, it's also live as well. Even though this is oil paint and would work as a insulation, you still get a shock off of it. So then what you do now is from here, you'd have another wire that comes just down here and that would connect to the next gate and now this is all live so all the way through here I'm getting like 110 110 volts same way no problem and there you have a wire at the bottom and then that will then take you to the other uh, bars around the house so that's how you do it the plan is is then you know you don't have to be worried about you know trying to do barbed wire so here I've got the, the barbed wire or the razor wire as you call it um, and what I found was that you can quite easily bypass this if you've got a broomstick you can just broomstick it up and then people climb underneath it and all sorts so you know unless you're gonna have that going all the way up the, the garage or whatever whatever it's, it's this long so this way now we make sure that if you want to get past when you get in the house, you have to engage with this thing. And as long as you have to engage with this thing anywhere around the house. And so there, there is a switch. I'm not going to show you where the switch is because uh, if I do that, it's kind of like defeats the purpose of me telling you because I know one could just come in and flick the switch. But you have a hidden switch as well so that you can like, you know, turn it off when you come in. Um, if you're coming from the UK or, or the West or whatever, you can get like a remote control one that you could turn off and on. And, uh, you know, another thing I'm going to do, I haven't done it yet, is I'm going to add a light inside to have like as a visual reminder to myself that it's on. Um, I think apparently you're supposed to put a, a notice to say that, you know, the fence is electrified. So I'll probably put a little sticker somewhere down here. Maybe I'll put a little thing here saying electrified fence. Or I might put it there under the bush. So I actually I've covered myself to say, yeah, I've done that. But um, yeah, that's the next thing we need to do. All right, so here's the moment of truth. My heart is beating already, I'm really scared. Let's try this out. All right, okay, babe, I'm ready for you. All right. Okay. All right, so I've turned it on. So we're gonna do just flip the switch. And ah! It's on already. <laughs> okay, it works, it works. I don't want your boom. It's finished, it's finished. 